Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the inventor of advanced soft tissue release as their specialty. I'm also a cancer survivor and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster specialty. Uh, uh, Max, tell me what's going on with your back. What happened? So, uh, so a few months ago, I was mm -hmm. skating, and I pulled something uh, in my lower right back area. Mm -hmm. And then I was kind of on and off skating because it was hurting. Then I just let it rest. And I was able to skate for a few weeks. Then I just hurt it again a few weeks ago. So, uh, what type of accident, how did you hurt your back? Uh, the very first time, mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to do a trick, mm -hmm. and I think I like pulled my front foot out too mm -hmm. much, and, um, and I felt something fall back there, and then it just hurt. But you did not fall? <laughs> you did not fail? No. That first time. Okay, what happened next? Uh, then, after that, I thought I was just kind of sore. So I, I didn't really think too much about it, and it was hurting on and off for a few months. Okay. Then, then I decided to just rest mm -hmm. and let it heal, and it was perfectly fine. I was able to skate to my fullest ability, okay. and, there, and there was no pain. Then, mm -hmm. then once again, I hurt it a few weeks after. Okay, did you fall again? Yes. Okay, so can you describe that fail, fall? Uh, the way I fell was so I was trying to... Uh, so I was trying to skate this rail, mm -hmm. and the way I fell is I tried to go onto it, mm -hmm. and I slipped out and landed on my butt. Okay, on you both sides or one side? Uh, both sides. Both sides. Okay. And how how long has it been going on now? Uh, last accident. Like three weeks. I think. Three weeks. Okay. So uh, can you describe your symptoms now? What kind of pain? How much yeah. pain do you experience? So uh, it so it just hurts. Mm -hmm. Hurts when I, like whenever I try to run, so I just cannot run no matter what. Mm -hmm. Um, and whenever I go up the stairs, it hurts a little. How much pain from zero to ten at worst? Uh, at worst, like five or six. Five and six, and where do you feel it exactly? Uh, the same exact spot. And just in the yeah. Uh, lower mid back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the right side more. Yes. Okay. So, how to aggravate the symptoms? You said running, mm -hmm. or else? Uh, walking up, up and down the stairs. The stairs, okay. Jumping. Jumping. Skateboarding, obviously. Skateboarding. Um, have you had any treatment for your back? Uh, other than just taking Advil, but I haven't done much. Okay. Uh, any other symptoms you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we gonna st I will have you stand up and actually do the motion that aggravated. Mm -hmm. So we have like a kind of a step here, so we'll have you do a few steps. Is it going up or down? Uh, mostly going up. Going upstairs? Okay. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, actually do a few steps and tell me how much pain with that. So we'll have you stand up. Hurts a little bit when I raise my leg up. How much? Uh, three. Three. Let's do ten. Okay. okay. Let's get the whole body. Okay. And let me know how much pain. And let me know if the pain gets worse, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you counting? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're not counting, we're going to do 400, okay? <laughs> How many ten. are you doing? That was 10. Okay. So, how much pain do you feel now? Uh, I feel around 5 or 6. Where? Uh, same exact spot. And around the last 3, it hurt when I was going back down. So, before it was when you go up, but yeah. now it's up and down. Yes. Okay. So, we can we will use that as a testing. We'll do the treatment and we'll do 10 more to see how you respond to the treatment. Okay, so um, um, let's lie on your side, facing the wall. And let's actually do this, actually, we, it's a very good... Uh, 
So lie on your back. I want you to to get this view here. Okay. So look at my thumb. Okay. Just pay attention to the alignment of the thumb. Okay. Sit up for me. So you see the left side, this side is it moved forward. Yes. Let's go back. Sit up again. That's a positive test for function leg length discrepancy, which mean one leg longer, but it's a false. It's from soft tissue. A lot of soft tissue restrictions in the back. Let's do it again, so just to view it. Now it's aligned. You see my thumb? They align. Sit up. And because he has restriction in the back, his pelvis is stuck backward. That causes one leg to be longer. And when that happens, you can get <laughs> when that happens, usually the, the pelvis pushing on the vertebra upward, you start to have muscle spasm because his pain is, you complain of your pain around here. When this is stuck upward, it's compressed on this area. And with that, when he does a lot of motion, because that causes like a false leg length discrepancy. Um, it's like your car out of alignment, so you're gonna have more pressure, more wear on one side than the other side. So I'm gonna work on releasing that to keep it aligned. Then we're gonna give him exercises after the treatment. Okay. All right. So let's lay on your side. The same side. Okay. Yeah, you can put this behind your head. Here. Your hamstring is really tight, by the way. Let's pull, pull your shorts up. Are you sure it's that So, okay. so it's, it's the area here. This is the area. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pull this up all the way up. up. Okay. You feel the tightness here? Mm -hmm. That's very tight. It's the fascia should move like this. This is normal fascia movement. Okay. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So that's a very uh, restricted fascia. Fascia is like uh, wrapped surrounding the entire body. It's like a Spider-Man suit. That's a superficial fascia. We have deep layer. But when the fascia is tight, it's similar the, to wearing a t-shirt two to three sizes too small. So it compresses on everything, so limited the range of motion because it does not give room for the joint to move. You feel that? Yeah. I'm gonna release it. Mm -hmm. Any pain, discomfort with that? Okay. Mm -hmm. you, feel, you see the mobility now? Let's just release it. It's stuck here, it's not moving. I will release it now. You see the movement? Yeah, I no. And here. Sorry, make sure you say something, okay? Mm -hmm. And here, that's tight. Okay. So you like skiing? Yes. So how you how long you been uh, skiing? Uh, I've been taking it seriously for like two years now. Two years? Wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah. You really like it, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many days you ski uh, per week? Um, like every day. That's it. Yeah. Okay. How many <laughs> hours a day? Uh, like at the least like five every day. Wow. Man. His part-time skier. <laughs> yeah, it's intense. Wow. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> do, do you wear a helmet? Yes. You have to. Yeah. D does he wear anything else to protect his body? Pants. Oh, I'm glad you're wearing <laughs> pants, okay? Yeah. Make sure you wear pants or shorts <laughs> when you go outside, okay? Uh, yeah, make sure you wear your helmet, okay? Yeah. Man. <laughs> oh, I love it.
yeah. it's uh, the adrenal you know feel like that's good did you had any other injury or any mm. surgeries or anything like that mm. he rolled his ankle mm -hmm. yeah, sprain it or yeah no, I don't know. How long, how long it, was, uh, it was painful? Uh, uh, I didn't limp, but I heard it like, mm -hmm. like in December one time. Mm -hmm. And then it felt better in like five minutes. So it's not really bad. No. That was like two years ago. That was You're lucky. You've had no injuries. Mm -hmm. So, it's going to feel cold, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to work on the scar tissue. You feel this bump here? Yeah. That's a scar tissue. Oh, do you want to feel it? Do you? Yeah. Okay. So, tickles? Oh, yeah. It's fun to be here, you know? <laughs> um, so, let's feel this. Just hold it here while I'm holding it, okay? You feel how nice and smooth here? Yeah. Okay, compared to this. You feel this bump here? I do. Yeah. So, can you tell the difference between an area that has a scar tissue yes. and no scar tissue? You oh. can speak loud, yeah? Yes, I yeah. can. So, oh can God. you describe what you're feeling here? Uh, it, it feels like uh, bumps, little bumps. Like marbles or yeah. like rock here? Yeah. And how does this feel? Nothing. Smooth. That's not, not yeah. so smooth. smooth. So, that's the way we, that's one of the way to know the scar tissue. He, can you feel it? Yeah. Do you want to feel it with the tool? No. Okay. <laughs> you already feel the, the scar, the marble. It's, a lot. it's tickling a lot. Yeah. yeah. You see, you can get his face. It's fun. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's fun to be here. Yeah. You're not too bad, actually. I had like patient were like very loud. But... Well, he's a strong. Yeah. He's a... That's good. So uh, that's a scar tissue. So our muscle should act like a rubber band. When it's contracted and relaxed, it does this. <coughs> when you have a scar tissue, it's like you have a knot in the rubber band. So when the muscle contracts, it does not stretch much. And compress on nerve arteries. Sorry. So it compress on nerve arteries and it causes the muscle not lengthening enough. And that could cause like false like function, like density discrepancy. So is that too much here? Mm, so he has a lot of like it's all soft tissue as you see, you know. Yeah. Um, so with the, with these tools, usually the expectation is the size of those marbles start to shrink, shrink until we get rid of it, and you know he start to have more like mobility. You gonna do it? Is that too much here? No, it's just tickles. <laughs> You know it's ticklish here? Yes. Okay. Is he very ticklish? Yes, usually. Okay. He's not too bad here. <laughs> yeah. I think he really wants it to help, so he's going to withstand not, it, yeah. He's not, uh, yeah. I heard it. Okay. Let's see here. This side is not too bad, but it's a little bit scratchy here. Okay, so let's lie on your back. We're gonna get his ankle again. We'll see you take this. The, the functional ligaments discrepancy. Uh, okay. And back down. Oh, don't hit the wall. You see my, my thumb? There's no yeah. movement. It's, uh, they are aligned, it's the same line. He's smiling. Lay back down. Why are you yeah. smiling? Sounds happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts when I went up. Yeah, it hurts. How much pain you felt uh, when when we did this test before? Before, like three. Three. You don't feel pain yeah, now. Nothing. Do it again. How's that? Like a one. You feel it? Like around a one or two. Where? Uh, kind of. Feels more towards the spine. The spine? Okay. Yeah. 
Alright, so we'll get you some. Do you have water on you? Let's find them. This bag, the same bag. Yeah, this one. Back. This oh. bag. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is it okay to work on the stomach? Yeah. Okay. I am not trying to tickle him, I'm just um, assessing, okay? Because it's, it looks like tickling. <laughs> okay. Is it painful? It's okay. Sorry? Okay. Is it more ticklish in the stomach or the back? Uh, probably back. Make sure it's not painful, okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure you tell me, okay? That feels a little painful? Yeah. Okay, sorry, what about now? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Sure. Okay, start up again and tell me how that feels. Uh, like a one. Okay, back down. To do it again. Back down. So it look even now. Okay, how's the back feel? Uh, pretty good. Mhm. Mm okay. So let's have you stand up. Can you feel your pain last two times? Uh, no. Okay. Alright, let's get you some water actually first. Okay. Thank you. Make sure you drink enough water after the treatment because when you get scar tissue that release toxins in this product, you want to make sure to flush it out. Otherwise you you might feel soreness from the toxin. Okay. So so the first time we did ten and his pain was five, six going up and it's an increase he at the end he was feeling pain going down so we're gonna do 10 and you tell me how you feel his alignment is even now yeah that's fine so let's do 10 okay and let me know if you feel in pain okay Yes, even the skateboard magazine shirt, t-shirt. <laughs> Nothing, but kind of like the slightest bit, but like it doesn't hurt. Like if, like I kind of feel something, but it really doesn't. So it's not pain. You just feel a little bit tightness. Yeah. But no pain. Yeah. No. Here. Okay. Let me know if you feel pain, okay? Mm -hmm. Feels kind of like a Sorry. stinging. What about? Feels like a what? Stinging kind of. Stinging. Sorry. What about now? Uh, yes. Yeah, so Sorry. Okay. There's no nothing here. It's just uh, mm -hmm. pressure. Okay. I'm not injecting you. What about here? Mm -hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna show you actually the scar tissue here for his hamstring. Okay. 
you will see redness where he has a scar tissue compared to everything else. You see those redness? Yeah. Okay. So and that redness should disappear in ten minutes. You know. Um, but it's not too bad here. I can relax. Okay. <laughs> Do it on the other side. It's like it tickles. No, 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 it's just like. Pressure, yes. Pressure, not ticklish. Okay, mm -hmm. don't kick me, okay? okay. Be nice. Uh, <laughs> what about now? Yeah. Uh, it feels kind of weird. Mm hmm. It feels kind of weird, but like not, but like uh, like because of the tool. Like this. Okay, make sure it's not painful, okay? Mm -hmm. If you feel pressure, that's fine. Mm -hmm. What about now here? You feel that? Pain? Okay. I don't like when it. You don't like it? <laughs> You're dancing going down like that. <laughs> You sure you don't like it? <laughs> okay. You don't like this too? No, I don't. Okay. But right. does it hurt? Okay. Okay. I don't like that. Okay. Oh, he has tightness there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. 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 Lift your head up, relax, and go. And sit up and do that motion that you said it was 2 out of 10. Oh, I'm standing. Yeah. No, no. It was getting what? up on the bench, wasn't it? Oh, oh. It was in the bench? Yeah. yeah, because you said this was fine. Okay. Go from the floor. Stand on the floor. It's when you got up there before you went out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting up, no, but when I like lean forward, like a one. Okay. Do me a favor, pulling your head up. Okay, and do that motion while you, you're sitting up nice and tall. You need to work on your posture, that's not a good posture. Did you feel it with that? Because you stabilize your back, we need to do some core stabilization. I don't want you to slash forward mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Do it again, the right way, not the wrong way. Do you feel anything? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna work on course stabilization. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Right, so what do you think about the treatment? It was good. Yeah, did you feel a difference? Yeah. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain. And if you are a healthcare provider and interested to be ASTER certified, uh, you can follow the link below. Uh, you will get information on how to register for ASTER online class. Uh, there is over uh, 40 studies that support ASTER treatment model and also there is uh, over uh, 400 studies that utilize by ASTER treatment and feel free to check over more over 220 videos that most of them actually real treatment videos. Uh, we'll see you soon.